welcome back to the channel. Hey, I'm Ron with Ideal. In this segment, I'd like to talk about Ideal's Tone Generator and Amplifier Probe here. And these two devices are used to tr basically trace wires. And you can trace any kind of cable as long as there's no AC present. From Romex to category wire to coax to uh, really anything against metal, you can pretty much put a tone down and tracing a wire and uh, you know tracing of cable is really kind of an art form the more you do it the better you'll be at it okay now when I look at an amplifier probe over here now anybody's amplifier would work with anybody's tone generator okay so anybody's probe would work with anybody's amplifier uh, uh, tone generator so these uh, probe devices as we call them on the very back here you see kind of a battery compartment here and there's a volume control that we can change the level of the volume we hear through the speaker an on and off button and then of course a conductive tip on the end that we can actually search amongst a set of pairs or bundles of wires trying to identify a certain pair and again it's going to pick up a sound or noise that the tone generator is going to produce now these will pick up any induced noise or sound they might run across so here is picking up the noise coming off this electrical wiring so you might find noise or interference like that uh, and static, uh, there's just about any kind of noise it's going to pick up. It would even pick up the radio station if the signal was loud enough down the street. Okay, so uh, uh, amplifier probes. Now, tone generators are, as the name implies, it generates a tone that we can use to, uh, to uh, pick up with the probe. And if I turn the tone generator on, there's an on and off button right here, and it's putting a high low setting out. And it's putting a sound out that I can actually pick up uh, with the tone generator, and I'll clip it to a set of wires and then go find the sound. If I hit the button once, it goes about half as loud as it's in its half setting. And I hit it one more time, it goes completely out. Okay? Now, you'll also find on the, t on the tester some slide switch on the side here, and I can put a tone in any one of these settings. So, no matter what setting you have this on, you can put a tone out. And we'll cover all these settings in a minute. We've got a battery compartment in the back. We have a coax fitting a port, I should say, and an RJ11. And if we obviously had a piece of coax, we could attach the uh, piece of coax to the end of the tone generator and put a tone down the actual uh, coax itself. Uh, and if we have just a, a, a phone outlet that we would have put a tone down, we do have a, an adapter to plug right into a phone jack or yeah, actually even into a data jack if you'd care to. And then uh, there is a, a third lead here that uh, we could actually then actually have some alligator clips on it that we can actually use it to attach to some uh, conductors if we want to actually put a tone down some bare conductors. Okay. Now, you might have noticed that when I turned the high-low setting on, when I hit it once like this, it was putting out a certain sound or tone there, okay, which is kind of a wobbly. You know, you actually can set it for several, so uh, if other tones. So if I hold the button down, you'll find the lights will light both light up, and it's now going to cycle. And it went to a, a little, there's a solid, a little wobbly, you know, kind of a partial wobbly. So I can actually set it for any one of those three tones and the idea is if you have to have more than one cable you're tracing at one time uh, you could put one tone around one set of cables and another tone generator on another set of cables and with your probe device go find either one back inside of a panel okay and if i'm going to tone some cable i can do that let's uh i've got some uh, category six wire here that i've uh, actually uh, separated the pairs and i've actually got the actually I'll strip the end of the blue pair off here and I'm going to set a tone across this blue pair. Now it is now putting a tone or sound out that I should be able to find on the other end. And I'm going to set this over here out of the way. I got the other end of that cable right here and uh, here I've got the pair separated again. And again when I go to find this I should hear the loudest sound out of the blue pair and I sure do. Okay, And you're always looking for the loudest sounding pair. Okay. Now, uh, some tips you'll find in the instructions will be to disconnect the black lead back inside the pan, uh, at the, where the tone generator is, if you need to, uh, because the, the, the cataract cabling will actually uh, uh, deaden the tone slightly. Because of the twisting in the pairs, it actually starts to cancel the tone, so on long runs, it might be best to just disconnect one of the leads back at where you have the tone generator, actually the black lead. Okay, and actually, if you can ground it even better, and that might actually increase the tone you'll find it. Now, if you're still not sure which one it is, and you want to double check yourself, you can come back here to where you've got your uh, tone generator, and we think it's the blue pair, but we're not sure. So I could take the tone generator, and I'm going to turn the slide switch over here to where it says continuity. And if I take the blue pair and I touch them together, the 
light lights up on the tester indicating that yes I see continuity and uh, that's a closed circuit and if I disconnect the two of them uh, the light goes out again so I can at any time double check is that the right pair or not if I'm in the again the the continuity setting on the side of the tester whoops okay all right and uh, when I look at some of the other settings on the tester and I, I'll pull this out of there okay and we'll turn the tone generator off uh, that's that's low so I'll go one more time it turns the tone generator off and if I look at the side switches on the side here and I look at the one that says status so if I click all the way here where's the status I've got nothing on the tone generator lighting up here but if I happen to plug it into an active phone circuit it should light up and uh, there we go. And the green light lit up indicating that you see an act, a sees an active phone line and it's ready to rock and roll. And uh, if you see a red light, that would indicate that your polarity is incorrect in your tip and ring. And uh, for a lot of phones, they wouldn't care, but some might. So, and if I've got again, nothing plugged into it, it gives me nothing. So it gives me the status of the phone line is what that's indicating. Now, the talk battery setting over here. You can use a tone generator to provide power for what we call a test set or a what a lot of technicians would call a butt set and if you these are basically phones with alligator clips on the end of them that i can if i'm a if i have two technicians in a building and one on either end of the building and they're toning cables just like we just did we identified a pair one of the techs on the far end of the building could take his tone his uh, test set here and take his test leads and clip it across the pair we just identified then the technician in the in the first room can then take his test set and then put his tone generator in series with it across that same pair and when I turn it into talk battery the 9 volt battery in the tone generator is generating enough signal strength or enough signal that we can actually then talk to each other across the two test sets uh, in the building and they're basically just phone lines is what those are for so uh, it would provide what we call top power to a uh, uh, so to some test sets okay so that's the different functions of the tester. Uh, it's very actually easy to use. And as I said before, um, you know, it, it just takes a little practice to get good at using one of these. And again, it's one of these testers I feel like just about everybody ought to have. So there you go. That's the tone generator and the amplifier probe from Ideal. Uh, thanks for coming to another segment. I'm Ron with Ideal, and I'll see you next time.